Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Captain Paul Clark. This is Motor Yacht Loon. Stick around and join us for an action-packed behind-the-scenes look of what the crew get up to in the final couple of days of a charter and some bards. Okay, good morning. It is windy today. Woo, look at this. Well, I got the big fluffy mic on and uh, we're about to throw lines. We're going to go back out again, probably head back over to Shalona, try and find uh, a, a calm anchorage for today's activities, get back out there, do some water sports, have some fun, and then come back in again for this evening. So uh, we're just slowly coming off the dock. We've got about 25 knots of wind, basically right on our nose right now. So um, really not making it easy. Also just with the shallowness, a whole lot of suctions happening. So she's just coming ever so slowly. You know, it's a kind of a bit of a balancing game here. You want to keep the wind right on the nose so that it doesn't fall hard to uh, port or fall hard to starboard, bringing the stern in. So uh, just not as quick as we're normally used to coming off the dock, kicking up a ton of mud and water, but uh, it, uh, she is coming slowly. We've got about, about 10 meters off the dock now. We've got about another 10 to go until we can get that anchor up. But uh, yeah, it just makes it a bit more interesting days like today. So one of the cool things about having Blair is uh, we've always got a drone up when we're maneuvering. So days like today, when it's a little more difficult, as it is so windy, we decided to reverse the whole way down the channel versus uh, spin and just maybe put ourselves in that little bit of danger. So by having the drone up here, I can see what, uh, what Blair can see and I can see that everything around us, kind of like in your car where you've got that full 360 uh, view and it uh, just makes it easy for me backing down through the channel. So yeah, we just got a little Pershing here on our port side. Got a whole lot of little uh, center consoles on our starboard and we're just coming nice and straight down the channel. So yeah, so far so good. So we're just exiting the harbor now. You can always tell the end of the harbor in some bars because we've got the big commercial port here on our port side. Uh, so we're just gonna use their basin, put the stunt, put the, bring the bum in, lots of bow thruster. Good thing is wind is blowing us this way so there's nothing really to hit now and we can just make the maneuver. So there we go, right up, full the port, split the sticks, give me a bit of bow thruster and uh, we'll just slowly bring around. We're gonna be blown sideways as we go down through, but uh, it should be a nice and easy spin. Uh, much safer doing it out here than doing it in the port with all the little boats and walls and rocks and everything else that we can hit. So, uh, you know, if I was to lose an engine in the middle of the maneuver or have a bow thruster problem, it probably wouldn't end well. So it's safer to just, uh, just back her out nice and gently and then, um, and then do the spin out here. First for me, that, may, that was a little fun. So, uh, a little, little tight at some points, but uh, we, we got it done nicely. Okay, so, so I'm running up forwards to show you guys what is happening. Look how beautiful this is. Wow, that's cool, but it, I'm running up forwards to show you what's happening with the anchors because we're dropping two today and um, when we drop two things get a little bit more tricky is a bit more to watch out for it's not just kind of dropping the anchor and letting the chain run out let me put this down it's not really just dropping the anchor and letting the chain run out there's a lot more to it so we're gonna go check in with Tristy Trist? Yeah. Can I open this? So we have Tristy on port anchor. He's just down there. Then we have Bjorn on starboard. And um, we're gonna be dropping, which are we dropping first, port or starboard? So we are gonna be dropping port anchor first. Okay, so I've got the drone up to hopefully give you guys a better look at what's happening now. So Tristy has just dropped the port anchor. He's now letting it run. He's now letting it run. So we're slowly, he's got a little bit of brake on, so it's not completely running out, but this. it's just slowly running out. And uh, we're now gonna move over all the way to starboard and get nice. Nice. 
We were all the way over to starboard and get a nice long lead on both of our anchors, spread them out as wide as possible. So that we have a really big reach and that we can sit nice and center on our anchors and get tuck up really close to where we want to be, which is as close to the boys, the, the no anchoring area as possible. So you can see that coming out of the anchor pocket here on the drone, there's a little bit of yellow sticking out there. That yellow is our second shackle. So we have five shackles. We have five shackles and one emergency shackle, so six. Um, and that goes red, yellow, blue, white, green. green. <laughs> so, um, as per usual, Bjorn's here. He's not really doing much. He's kind of just looking out there. I'm just growing my moustache here, man. Yeah. I'm just... <laughs> Tristan, bro, we're trying to talk to the camera here, man. Trying to film, man. Just stop dropping the anchor, bro. Oh, okay. anchor oh, God. Wait. But yeah, we're growing our Movember stashes. <laughs> Oh, yeah, stop, bro. Come on. So, yeah, we're going on Movember stashes and um, we're looking good. Trying to raise funds for Movember. Bjorn looks a bit like a pedo, but I mean, so do I. But yeah, it's for a good cause. So, it's for a good cause. Here's the man that's making all the noise. Hi, guys. I'm just trying to do my job, but he's distracting me. Yeah, he's just, he's just making a lot of noise. So Tristy's just said now that that's four shackles on port. A shackle is what, 27 meters? 27, 27.5 meters. There goes green, so that's four, four hours. So Paul has just asked for two, on, two shackles, two shackles. So that's, we're gonna go two shackles on each anchor, try and make them even so we sit in the center and then we might adjust, take one up, let one out so that we can move where we are laterally along our anchor line. You might struggle to hear me a bit now, but Tristy on port side is taking up. He has four shots of anchor chain out, and he's gonna get that to two. So we have to let as much out on port as possible, but we can get a really far distance across to starboard, drop our anchor there, let out the starboard, and then take up on port. So we kind of like shimmy along the, the line. Um, and that's just, get to, that's just to get the biggest spread as possible on our anchors. So we've obviously just dropped starboard, chase boat is alongside and ready. So we get that extra person back on board the boat as quick as possible so they can help us start opening the stern door, getting the inflatables out and just getting the boat ready for the charter guests. So Tristy's just hauled something up on the anchor. I think it's a line of some sort. Okay, up. <laughs> okay, up. Oh, that's one that's full. Line. Hey. Got a new line, boys. Three up. Okay, we often get stuff that comes up on the anchor chains. I mean, they drag all the way along the bottom of the sea floor, so loads of stuff gets picked up. This. I can tell just by this, this was attached to a mooring ball, a floating mooring ball. Um, once upon a time, that has been disconnected and ripped off. So I'm guessing that there was a mooring ball somewhere here a while ago that day birds can come up and tie on to. But yeah, now it's ours. So <laughs> gonna have to dispose of this somewhere. Dunsies. Anchoring done. Full set up. Let's go. Now it's time to get the boat set up. So this will all open up. Tender's out, rescue has to go out first, we take these chocks off, then the X-Craft goes out. Both of those jet skis going out, I don't think this will go out today. We don't have the right weather for that, it needs to be really flat. And um, you will see that the stern door over here is already open. I'll just show it to you on the drone. Stern door is already open, the slide is going out. Setup is well underway. So there are the boys. Just doing their thing, getting all set up. Pool goes out immediately, then the slide. Um, and by that stage, you know, tender should have been alongside a couple minutes ago. Whoa, 
That was hot. <laughs> Meeting in the garage is hot. Um, but I am now going through the interior. So I can head back up to the bridge, get the drone down, um, and be honest, just letting out one more half a, sh half a shot of anchor chain, and we should be good to go. All right, so we just anchored in uh, Shalona Beach, back where we were yesterday, but uh, we managed to tuck in a little bit closer, much different conditions around the corner here to uh, what it was as we were coming off of the dock in uh, Gustavia there. There's a nice big hill just in front of us here that kind of blocks it all. The swell kind of wraps around and misses us. So uh, it's really the only spot to be today when the conditions are like this in some parts. But I mean, sun is out, the water is blue, absolutely spectacular. Let's put the toys in the water and have some fun. Okay, so we just left uh, Shalona and we're actually heading back into port now. We do this quite a lot in some bars. You go, you go onto the dock for the night, guests can get off, walk around town, and then during the day you pick up, you go back out to anchor somewhere, and then you spend the day doing water storts and all kinds of fun stuff in the ocean. You know, the guests then went and had lunch at uh, Shalona, come back, and now we head back in for the nighttime festivities. So uh, cruising back in, we did a live stream uh, yesterday uh, with uh, docking there, so you can check that out in another one of our videos. But then today we're just gonna come in nice and easy. Okay, so we're just pulling back into port here in um, St. Bart's. It has been a ridiculously busy day. I haven't stopped for one second to be able to film and do stuff. I think the last time I probably spoke to you guys was when we dropped anchor, I can't even remember. Um, yeah, there's been a lot going on. We've been, I've been going from beach to beach with the guests, filming a whole bunch of stuff for them, cruising the island, driving around in mokes and minis and just doing everything you can imagine. Um, but it's been a good day, the guests have really enjoyed it, so that's all that matters. But yeah, very happy to finally be getting back into port and hopefully things start calming down a bit and we can film a bit more. But wow, what a busy day. Okay, here we go again. Starting to feel a little bit like Groundhog Day right now. You know, in at the night, out in the mornings, but uh, guests are loving it and we keep going to beautiful Shalona Beach. So wind is still kicking, so Shalona is really our only option today, but we're gonna head out, reverse back down the channel, spin around and, and, shoot, and shoot over to Shalona. So uh, yeah, another, another great day ahead. Okay, so I'm back in the bridge. We just pulled out of Shalina and uh, Blair, what's going on with the drone over there, mate? Just flying the drone around. <laughs> that, do whatever. I'm just getting some beautiful shots of the X-Craft and the new chase boat. So it's still in the sky? Oh, yeah. All right, but, uh, but what, what's happened? So we have a really convenient, big, restricted, no flying zone, basically around the entire anchorage, the entire anchorage of St. Bart's but there's a small little gap where you can fly inside the marina, which you're not meant to, I wasn't flying there. Um, and when we left, I hit that restricted, restricted zone. So I've now had to take the drone across the hill to where the X-Craft is sitting waiting for us. And I'm gonna land it with Tristy because to wait for us to get out of this restricted zone will take at least half an hour and my battery will probably be done by then. So, um, so it hasn't been lost yet. There's an attempt to recover it. Now, so Blair, if you want to just uh, come and screen, kind of show the screen here. But Loon is here. We were docked there. We backed down, and then right here is the no-fly zone, which we hit, and you weren't able to land the drone on Loon before we got to that. So now you have to fly all the way over the hill of Gustavia and land in Shalona, where the HCB is waiting for us. So uh, this is correct. Good luck. Just gonna move this so we still have connection. <laughs> There we go, that's looking good. You guys can actually see what the drone's seeing. Oh, 
Yay. Alright, just do it again. Look at just. <laughs> Tristy, Tristy, take a selfie. <laughs> yeah, <guys are> dead. <laughs> oh, That's cool. Okay, so we've just arrived in Shalona for the third and final time. You know, today is the final day of the trip. Tomorrow we head back to St. Martin to drop off. So we're gonna go all out, put all the toys in the water, the slide, the pool, the jet skis, just have an absolute blast. Make sure the guests have that final fantastic memory to go home with and hopefully leave the crew a nice big tip at the end of it. So, uh, you know, last day, let's get it done. Let's smash it out. Okay, so the guests have just stepped off the boat. Now put an all crew radio call out and anyone that's keen can jump off this little rock face in front of us. So we're all gonna load up in the tender and go for a quick little swim. Aren't we, Maxi? Going for a swim. Okay, so we've got all the crew up on here, up in the bow. There we go. And yeah, we're gonna go for a little swim off this rock here, quickly while the guests are ashore, just to get out in the sun a bit. And Paul's got the drone up. There he is oh, up in the ridge. Oh, the second drone's going up. Oh, it's all happening. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, who's going to go first? I think Corey has to go first if he's doing a double. A double? Double. Come on, Corey. Ah! Yeah. Two. One. Okay, so we're just pulling into uh, St. Bart's Harbour and uh, wind's died down a little bit. It's a nice, easy evening, so uh, decided to put Chief Officer on the, uh, Tyler on the sticks and uh, let's see how he does. I'm actually standing way back on this one. Normally I'll be there sort of giving advice and uh, telling him what to do. This one, I'm going to stand back and uh, let him do it all himself. So, unless I need to take over, which I'm not going to. It's all yours, Ty. Thanks, that Paul. Thank you. No pressure at all. You're lucky uh, my hands are very calm right now with my heart beating. There we go, not too bad. What do you think, Ty? Man, I, I, to be honest with you, at one point I was, I was almost like, Paulie, I think you should take over. But, <laughs> I'm good. I think a few more of these, a few more tries. She's uh, definitely a little bit bigger than, uh, than 180. Yep. Bring it back, bring it back. Right. No, well done. Yeah. Um, Thanks. A little slower than usual, but uh, you know, hey, you get it in slow, you get it in safe, you don't do any paint damage. Yeah. It's a win. It's a win. Slow is pro, eh? That's what they say. Yeah. Nice. So it's the final day, drop off day. We're just throwing lines here in St. Bart's. We're just about to pull out, reverse back down the harbor again, spin around, and then we've got about an hour, 10 minutes over to St. Martin. Once in St. Martin, I've got to take the girl through the bridge for the first time. I'm not gonna lie, a little nervous. It's always a, always a little nervous uh, going through St. Martin Bridge at the best of times. This one, first time doing it in the biggest boat I've ever taken through there. So uh, wish me luck and let's get it done.
Okay, so we're finally on the dock here in St. Martin. We went through the bridge, it all went super smooth, and uh, now the guests have just departed. I walked them down the dock, put them in the Sprinter vans, and they're on their way to the airport to board the private jet back to Europe. Uh, now we're gonna go into crew debrief, talk about what went well in the trip, what didn't go so well, how we can improve for our next charter, and then finally the crew tip. After that, I'm gonna let the guys have a couple of days off, and then we're back out through the bridge on Wednesday, and I'm gonna make our way to St. Mar uh, St. Thomas, sorry, so that we can uh, pick up our next charter on Saturday and do it all over again. So all right, guys, it's over. Um, I don't really know really what to say about that one. I think, first of all, we all need to give each other a round of applause. Right. Yeah, well done. Um, look, I know they were very difficult guests. Um, Nina, epic hot dog making. Uh, yeah. It's really short. My, my talents really came out. Yeah. Guys, I thought that was a great first trip. Otherwise, as far as the crew, you know, a few little things, but I know there's a few new team members and it just we need to get the flow back in, coming, dusting the cobwebs off from the shipyard. Sure. But um, I feel like we... Bjorn. Um, I feel like I feel like we did well. You know, the next charter in the BVIs with you know one of our favorite families is going to be absolutely epic. It's going to be really fun. So, uh, not nah, well done. Good, uh, good build up to that. The tip wasn't great. Um, it's around about six percent. Huh? Yeah, exactly. The worst one I have ever had in twenty years of yachting. I am working on it. Um, it works out to be about. I think $1,500 each. Um, I am working on getting that increased. What I will do is I'll actually throw my piece back into the pot. I'm fine with it um, to try and give you guys a little bit more. I'm gonna talk to the boss man, see if he can you know, contribute. He has once before in a similar situation. Thank you for all the help getting through the bridge. I, that was definitely, it was tighter than I imagined. Um, the bridge. The bridge, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was definitely, you know, we're, not, we're gonna not race through it like we used to on the old boats. Um, Bjorn, great calling going through there. Everyone, thank you. Uh, moving forward, uh, I see we've already packed up, covers are on. Thank you very much. Let's just make sure that the boat is uh, looking good. Let's put the cooler on the dock and we'll, after this, we'll all move out to those picnic tables right over there. Day off tomorrow, guys. Um, yep, so let your hair down tonight. Um, yeah, no, that's everything I've got. Guys, thank you so much for a great trip. Don't worry about them, but uh, we rocked. So, yeah. <laughs>Okay, great, here we are. This is the end of another video. Thank you so much for making it all the way to the end. If you did enjoy this video, guys, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and give us that big thumbs up for a like. If you have any comments on this video or really anything else to do with the crew or the boat, please drop a comment below and we'll do our best to answer them. We do try really hard to answer a lot of the comments. So please let us know what your thoughts are about the boat and, and all of us. Also guys, for more up-to-date daily stuff, uh, head on over to our Instagram, at Motor Yacht Loon. We put a lot of daily stories up there and along with a lot of little short form reels and stuff. But yeah, I think that's it. So uh, thank you so much and we'll see you next week.